So I've been using Capital One Venture X credit card for a while now. And this video is my honest and unbiased review on the Venture X credit card. I'm gonna cover all the main points from key features to risks and rewards. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of Capital One Venture X credit card. First, let's talk about what makes the Capital One Venture X credit card stand out. One of the biggest draws is its generous welcome bonus, you can earn 75,000 miles after spending $4,000 within the first three months. Depending on how you redeem these miles, they can be worth a substantial amount, but let's be real, you gotta spend to earn. Now let's talk about the annual fee. The card has an annual fee of $395, which might raise some eyebrows, but Capital One has several credits and bonuses to offset this extra cost. Each year, you get a $300 travel credit, which you can use if you book through the Capital One Travel Portal. Additionally, you receive a 10,000-mile anniversary bonus each year, which, when valued at around $0.01 cent per mile, adds up to another $100 in value. These perks alone can bring the annual cost down significantly. Earning miles with VentureX is pretty straightforward. You'll get 2x miles on every purchase, which is great for everyday spending. But when it comes to flights and hotel bookings, the real magic happens and you can rack up points like crazy. You'll get 5x miles on flights and 10x miles on hotels and car rentals when booked through the Capital One Travel Portal. This can lead to some impressive mileage accumulation if you often book your travel through their platform. One area where the Venture X really shines is its airport lounge access. Cardholders have access to over 1,300 lounges worldwide, including Capital One, Plaza Premium, and Priority Pass. If you spend a lot of time in airports, this benefit can greatly enhance your travel experience, providing a comfortable space to relax before your flight. The Capital One Venture X credit card also comes with a suite of travel protections, including trip cancellation and interruption coverage, trip delay reimbursement, and travel accident insurance. These features provide a nice safety net when your travel plans hit a snag, making it a reliable companion for frequent travelers. But let's be real, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are some cons to consider. For instance, the Capital One Travel Portal doesn't always have the best prices compared to booking directly with airlines or hotels. Also, the card doesn't come with elite hotel status perks, which some other premium travel cards do offer. This means no complimentary room upgrades or late checkouts, which can be a downside if you value those benefits. Additionally, getting approved for Venture X can be challenging. It's known to have stringent approval criteria, so not everyone will qualify. But if you do manage to get approved, adding authorized users is a breeze. One more thing to consider is that the Venture X can be paired with other Capital One cards, like the Saver One card, to create a powerful do setup. This combination can maximize your rewards across different spending categories, making it a smart strategy for those looking to optimize their credit card rewards. So, is the Capital One Venture X credit card worth it? If you're a frequent traveler who can take full advantage of the travel credits, lounge access, and high earning rates on travel bookings, then absolutely. However, if you don't travel often or prefer to book directly with airlines and hotels, you might find it harder to justify the annual fee cost. But as always, do consider speaking with a financial advisor before making any decisions. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a super thanks by clicking on this heart icon to help support the channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.